Okay, so Caterpillar D8H track adjuster video number three. Um, this Komatsu, it has been a big help having that thing so I can move this frame roller, the idler, move the idler back and forth. Um, it's a big deal to be able to move the idler back and forth. And I tried pulling on it with a pickup truck and a chain. But finally, I just bought that, brought the excavator down the hill. That was a big help. I was hesitant to bring it down from elsewhere on my property and work on it if I could just do it with the chain. But there's no way, man. You need some kind of hydraulic um, arm, you know, some kind of excavator or something like that or backhoe to be able to bump this idler around. Anyway, so... Uh, I've got the uh, adjuster piston in there in the sleeve, in the hydraulic cylinder sleeve, and I used a 4x4 four four and some blocks. I put some blocks right in there like that, kind of doubled them up, and used those to kind of uh, push to bring these together, and that really, really helped. Also, when, when they were spread apart, I put the 4x4 in between them and used the 4x4 to push the piston back inside the cylinder. Um, anyway, so that's video number three. I'm going to put the uh, six bolts on the dust shield. I've got the dust shield seal cleaned up and put back into place. Didn't bother replacing that. It looks fine. And um, this whole cylinder would have to come out. To replace that and that would be a really big job and pain in the butt uh so yeah man I'm, all, I'm ready to put all the bolts in and uh try to get the adjuster adjuster assembly and the idler back as far as i can and then start putting the track back together so might take another couple of videos and uh lots more sweat many more hours and uh probably won't do it all this evening It'll probably be divided up over a couple sessions at least so, there you go, 53 year old Caterpillar D8H track adjuster adventure. Woohoo!